Hello and welcome back on my YouTube channel, Par Doshi, Learning by Doing. So today in this video, I have came up again with one of the very interesting concept. This time it is related with UiPath Action Center and storage buckets. So we all know to implement human in the loop concept, we have a product UiPath Action Center when we can create a form where user can put his own input other than what has been processed by bot and then submit the form. Now, many times we come across a requirement where we want to create a hyperlink in the form to let the user download some input file or temp files or processing files. It can be anything. So now how you can do that, how you can create a hyperlink within your form to let user download the input file or the attachment which is being processed. So as you see over here, in this form, okay, it is not actually in form, but this is the UiPath Action Center as we see on this screen. Here is a hyperlink created called as download input file. Now, when I click on it, a file download option is coming on my screen. That means a file is linked on that hyperlink and I can download it. So by the end of this video, you will learn how you can implement this. So without any due, let's get started. Now to implement this, you will need to install one or two packages, which are uipath.persistentactivities. This is the important package that you will have to install. Now, if you see it's one of the dependency is uipath.formactivitylibrary.contracts. So you will have to install that as well, which I have installed over here. And it's, and that's it. So you need this two packages to build the hyperlink within your action form. Now, you will need an upload storage activity. Why upload storage? Because the file that you see is coming from storage buckets. And now in UiPath Action Center in create form task activity, we can directly link our storage bucket. So any file to be fetched, you can directly fetch it if you have the name of the file. So what I'm going to do is I'm uploading a file. Now, since I'm uploading the file, I know what is the file name that I'm uploading. So I can download that easily. The same will happen in any other process that you implement. So in upload storage file, I'm passing a variable called as input file to which I have given my, the file path that I want to upload. It is in my project folder. So I have just specified the name here. You provide the action center. Sorry. Here you provide the storage bucket name as if I come over here in action center form task in storage buckets. This is my storage bucket that I've created. Coming back to the code here in the form, you have to create two fields. Let me just delete both of them to explain it right from scratch. I'm going to open my form and I'm going to delete the already present fields over there. So I'm going to delete this and I'm going to delete this. I'm going to click on save and let's close. So to pass a file within your UI path form and to use it further for creating an hyperlink, you have to pass one argument called as file underscore storage. Okay. Here you have to specify the file name, which is of the storage buckets. And here you will need one more variable, which is file name. And here also you have to do the same thing. Now, why we have to do that same thing. I'll shortly explain when we implement it in our code. So let me click on OK. Once you create this parameters, right? Your form is empty right now. Like we saw, I removed all the fields. Only there is one submit button. When you do this, you have to click on generate input fields and click on open form designer. You will see this prompt. Click on yes. On clicking of yes, you will see this field. You can simply remove file name. Here, you have to go to settings, make it hidden so it is not visible on form and click on save. After that, you have to come and drag an HTML element. Why HTML? Because hyperlink is only possible in that. Now here I have a short piece of code written already. We all know a tag in HTML is used to create an anchor field, a link, a hyperlink. So there in the, you have to pass two attributes. One is hyperlink reference. So your reference that what you are going to refer on clicking of that hyperlink is going to be your storage file. So as you saw, we had passed one in argument, which was file underscore storage, the same we are passing over here. And you have to use another parameter called as download. Now, why this, this is to specify the file name when it is clicked on that hyperlink and the input file name that we see, we are going to pass that over here. So these are two things you can add any number of 
n number of style parameters that you want. I'm going to keep, keep it simple and just pass the font size. And this is the text that I want to display. So let me copy this code and I hope this code is easily understandable and yes. So if you see download input file is available over here. Now that's it. We have achieved the thing that we want to complete. We have created an hyperlink and we have passed it the file that we want to download. Now, one thing that you have to make sure that in your create form task activity, here you are passing the storage bucket name. If it is in some storage other folder in your orchestrator, it can be in default finance, modern, anything. So then you have to specify that folder name as well. So I'm going to keep a track on my unassigned tab. Let me go back to UiPath form, save this and run the code. I should see an action in unassigned and, and then I'm going to assign it to myself and put it into pending. Okay, so I've clicked on assign to self. Here now we have the hyperlink created. I think it took less than five minutes for us to create this, right? So let me click on download input file. Okay, seems to be there is some issue with this. Let's go back to our form, check if we are passing everything. Input file, input file, storage bucket file is uploaded. browse bucket let's refresh this okay. let's try to click it now okay it's still showing this what we will do is since i have ran it for multiple times let me delete the file from here input file.xlsx and let's come over here and let us run again Okay, so we have executed the code again and I'm going to click on download input file. Okay, it still shows the same. I think it is related to some cache memory. Let me just browse to cloud.uipad.com again. It sometimes happens because I have executed the code with same input file like more than 10, 15 times before recording it and testing if it works or not. So. It is because it is stored in my cache memory. I hope so. Okay. It still shows the same. Let's try to do one thing. Let's try to use another name for this. Let me click on rename. Input file. Two. Okay. Variables. I'm going to change the name. Okay. So if you face this kind of issues, just try to clear your cache when you are developing and or when you are testing, right? Just try to create clear your cache memory or maybe it can be some antivirus issue as well. Do you want to run? Okay. No. Let me click on save. Come back to this. Go to my completed actions. In storage buckets, yes. Now we are uploading with another file name, so it shouldn't be an issue. Let me run the code again. So why I'm not editing this error part is because these are the kind of problems that can definitely come. So we should also know how to solve them or what are the issues with respect to that. Let's try it again. Okay. I think I might have to close my browser and reopen it. Let me go to Chrome. Let's go back to actions.
Okay, it still shows me the URL that it is loading GIF. I might have to check the code. Okay, so let's see if we are making any mistake over here. Okay, so I think this is what we have missed that we have to select refresh on change. This is one of the property definitely required. And let's run it now. Okay, I thought we had checked that property. Now this should probably solve this issue because I have faced it many times and Something or the other thing is missing every time and that in does not work. Okay. Let me assign it to myself. Let's click on this. Okay. So the thing that we were missing is we had to select refresh data on change because when you move it from unassigned to pending or from pending to anything, there are multiple changes that we might do. So that is the reason it could not fetch the file. So we have to select the property refresh data on change. Let me quickly show that property again of the HTML element because since it is an hyperlink, it is compulsory to select that particular property. So it is over here, refresh on change. So once you select that, you should not be having any issues with creating a hyperlink and downloading the files. So I hope this concept was clear and you can now easily create multiple hyperlinks in your form or even one hyperlink in your form to download an input file or any other attachment that you want to pass. The video was not one go video because we faced some issues, but yes, we learned how to solve them if you face similar kind of issues and maybe clearing your cache could help or checking that if you have selected the required properties or not. So thank you so much for watching the complete video. I hope you understood the concept of action center integration with storage buckets and how to create hyperlinks within UiPath action forms. Thank you for watching the complete video. Please do hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to stay updated to all the new videos that I upload. Thank you.